That's why I'm trying to make a better way. Whole new crib in a better place. Get my people out the hood. We'll see better days. Tell a fan sorry, y'all let them wait. Shit up there like a Saturday. Listen to me, how I beat the beat up like a battle. Yo, what up, guys? This is your boy Kofi with KO Sports Talk back at with another video. Um, it's kind of been a minute since I've done a Chicago Bears video. Um, I've just been a little bit busy on you know certain stuff, but um, I just wanted to do this quick uh, uh video, um, this uh final mock draft before the 2023 NFL draft. Um, we're gonna be talking about some possible moves I think the Bears should make. And um, this possible draft and who they should draft, um, how they can surround Justin Fields with talent, and how they can be a better team going into the 2023 season. So, I mean, before I do uh, my mock draft, um, I just want you guys to make sure you like and subscribe um, for my content. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get all the updates, uh, NFL draft news, um, NFL news, uh, and even some NBA um, news, you know, even in today's uh, game, you know, the NBA playoffs is still going on. I mean, we're going to be making some videos on that, you know, um, with the NBA playoffs. Yesterday, the Minnesota Timberwolves um, won in a thriller against the Denver Nuggets. Um, um, and also, um, what else happened? The uh, Golden State Warriors also beat the Sacramento Kings yesterday. But, you know, stay tuned for a later date. But today's video... It's about the NFL draft. So pretty much I just wanted to do this final mock draft. Um, a lot of players, especially a lot of draft analysts, you know, they're talking a lot of um, ways that the Bears can go in the draft. You know, um, my last video, I was talking about how um, the Chicago Bears were trying to um, be in talks with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers in order to trade that ninth pick if Jalen Carter was there. So if Jalen Carter was um, available and um, available at the ninth pick, the Pittsburgh Steelers um, will be willing to trade up with the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears were possibly um, giving up, um, trying to get that 17th pick and that 32nd pick from Pittsburgh. But without further ado, um, we can just dive into this. So, um, as you can see with my three round draft picks, um, I have the Bears uh, keeping the ninth pick and going with the offensive tackle, Paris Johnson Jr. Um, I don't really think they should pretty, pretty much just trade. I think that Ryan Poles, in my opinion, should stay with uh, the ninth overall pick. Um, just the fact that this guy. He has 35 and a half inch arms. He has over a seven foot wingspan. He's very tall. He's 6'6", 310 pounds. Um, he just fits that, that prototypical type that um, Pat Ryan Poles is looking for an athletic uh, offensive tackle. You know, he's got the arm length. Um, he's got the size. He's got the the, the, the speed to uh, kind of fit into that wide zone offense. Um, he's just the total package. And like I said, you know, we got to do whatever we can to protect Justin Fields. You know, I mean, look at the Kansas City Chiefs, man. I mean, they barely even had any um, weapons, any viable weapons aside from um, Travis Kelsey. But that that offensive line, that, that stout offensive line is what really helped them win um that super bowl propel them to win that super bowl you know i mean the eagles they were they had that vaunted defense and they're like one of the vital reasons why they won 14 games and um kansas city uh kansas city's offensive line completely shut down on um, the philadelphia eagles defense line so i think that the bears i think they're going to choose paris johnson jr um because he's very big he's he's very long um, he's very great, um, especially when it comes to the bull rush. That was a problem that we had last year. Um, Braxton Jones was getting beat a lot, especially in the bull rush. And, um, I mean, hopefully, I mean, they possibly could, if they do draft him, they possibly could slant him to the left tackle position and probably move um, 
Paris Johnson Jr. to protect John, Justin Fields' blind side because that's where he was very good at, um, pretty much uh, against um, the bull rushes, against um, um, uh, the the swim moves um, with the with the, uh, the pass rushers, and not only that, he can definitely keep up. You know, um, especially when they're coming off on screen plays, <sighs> he can make those uh, those zone screens. So that's who I have um, the Bears picking. The next one, <laughs> with the next pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, I should have that sound. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me let me do that uh, jingle. Uh, NFL Draft jingle. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do the jingle. I gotta do the jingle. So, with the next pick, I got the Chicago Bears picking Adotomo, Adotomo, Adoboire, Adot, Adot. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I got the Bears. Hold on. I got the Bears picking out of Tomo Adeboire from Northwestern. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy is a total beast. Um, he's really excelled in um, the senior draft. Um and the um yeah the senior um bowl I said senior draft the senior bowl um the guy is six two um three hundred or uh, two hundred and eighty pounds but I mean he has a high motor um he can definitely get after the pass um very good against the run he could definitely fit into this three tech that um. What's his name looks for? Um, Matt Eberfuss looks for in his defense because it's very vital to uh, um, Matt Eberfuss's defense to get that that prototypical three technique. The die he could play the one tech, um, he could definitely play um, the two tech, and he can play the three tech. You can switch him around. You can play him on the defensive end, and you can play him in the pass rush. Um, just the fact that this guy um, that really sticks out to this is just his high his high motor. Um, I mean, if you looked at his tape, you know, I even watched him up close and personal because I used to do security for Northwestern and this guy, he's definitely, he definitely has a high motor. Um, you know, um, he kind he opens up, um, a lot of lanes, especially, um, for a lot of pass rushers. He, uh, uh commands a lot of double team. Um, this guy is pretty much just a, a wrecking ball. And he really did impress in um, the senior bowl. He impressed in the combine. I mean, this guy, he's the complete total package. And so this is who I got the Bears selecting. Um, so um, let's go to round three. I'm probably just, pretty much just going to go up to um, four rounds. So for the next pick, I got the Bears selecting John Michael Schmitz. I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on, hold on. Stop sharing. Hold on. Uh, I'm messing up. <laughs> I got the Bears selecting John Michael Schmitz from Iowa. Um, he's six four, um, three hundred and one pounds. I mean, um, he's very highly consistent zone scheme center um, with decent size. Um, he's uh, very technical, um, very great in um, the wide zone zone scheme. Like I said, um, he could pretty much play behind. You know, depending on what the Bears do, um, it looks like the Bears might keep um, Cody Whitehair for this year. But um, watch out for this guy. This guy, he's definitely for the future. I think you could you could plug and play him in that center. But I mean, if Whitehair stays, you know, he could pretty much learn from Whitehair. Um, he could back him up, and then um, 
even at certain points, you know, um, he could probably even take over for, for white hair, but I think this guy, he's very good. Um, he was very highly consistent at Iowa. He has a great size. Um, he had a, um, pretty much good chemistry with the quarterback. Um, he's very highly consistent, a zone scheme center, um, who could definitely fit into Luke Getze's offense. Um, like I said, he's very good at, at doing a lot of screen plays. And then last year, you know, with our center position, um, we were very weak at center position. Um, last year we had uh, Lucas Patrick as our starting center, and he did not really pan out last year. Um, depending on what they do with Lucas Patrick, that's beyond me. I really don't even think he's going to stay beyond – going past 2023 because he has some injury concerns. But this guy, John Michael Schmitz, um, he's very sturdy. Um, he uh, allows for a lot of open lanes um, within the middle and then that middle gap. Um, very good against uh, a lot of uh, zone running schemes. And like I said, he, he kind of fits that prototypical type of center that Ryan Poles is looking for. He's got the size. He's very tall, 6'4", 301 pounds, very athletic. Um, he can run with the best of them, and he can keep up with the best of them. But, um, yeah, I got the Bears selecting. John Michael uh, John Michael Schmitz. Um, okay. And um, so for one of my last picks – I'm going to um, zero down to um, this last one. Um, so with the fourth pick um, in the NFL draft, I got the Bears. Um, I got the Bears selecting. Hold on. Here we go. Andre Carter. Andre Carter from the Army Black Knights. This guy, now hear me out, guys. This guy is six foot seven, 260 pounds of pure muscle. You know, even though he is kind of raw, you know, um, he's definitely, he definitely um, has that type of upside that the Bears need in order for him to, to groom him into a, a good rotational player. I think this guy could be a great rotational player um, within uh, the defense. Um, hopefully he could be a starter. Um, but, um, we definitely need more depth at the defensive end. Um, I mean, I like the, uh, D uh, Dominique Robinson, but who else do you have, um, at, um, behind, um, Travis Gibson or, or, or somebody on the other side, we don't have a solid, uh, defense end on the other side. Like we need some capable pass rushers. And I think that Andre Carter coming in. You know, last year, um, let's look at some of his stats. Last year, um, he totaled uh, 37 total tackles, 21 solo, 16 assists um, this past year. He had three sacks. No, but look at his his tape for um, his, his stats from 2021. Um, he had a breakout year in 2021. He had 44 total tackles, 34 solo, 10 assisted, 15 and a half sacks. Um I mean, this guy, he's definitely um, the total package. He definitely has the size. Um, he definitely has some type of upside. Um, he could definitely get after the pass rush. It's just that he definitely needs some type of polishing, um, you know, with his, his pass rush. He needs to learn how to do better pass rushing. Um, he has to um, kind of learn how to learn um, certain um, pass rushing moves um, to get to the quarterback. And, you know, he almost kind of reminds me in size of um, DeForest Buckner. You could definitely play him inside, you know, if he's able to gain some weight, um, gain enough capable weight. Um, you could definitely play him in the inside. He could make him a, a run stopper or, um, shoot, you can even at times let him play three the three tech, you know. Um, but, you know, with him, you know, he definitely has a lot of upside, you know. Um, but that's at the same time, he can also be a bust. But um, I definitely think um, if the Bears do draft him, I think it will be a, a great draft pick because we definitely need some depth at the defensive end.
But um, yeah, guys. But um, yeah, guys. That's pretty much um, uh, uh, that's it for the video. That's pretty much um what I have so far. Um, and who I have the Bears selecting for this final um um for my final mock draft for the NFL draft for the twenty twenty three um season. But um, like I said, um, I'm also going to be doing a live stream tomorrow um, around um, 11 o'clock, around 11. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to do a little hangout probably for an hour. Um, and like I said, make sure to like and subscribe for my content um, and hit that notification bell. But like I said, guys, this is going to be crucial, a crucial NFL draft for the future. It's all going to be contingent on who Ryan Pohl selects uh, for this upcoming draft on um, if we're going to be good for, you know, possibly five to seven plus years or longer, you know, because this is one of the most important drafts in Chicago Bears history, in my opinion. But like I said, guys, um, this is your boy Kofi and y'all stay easy. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. I was coming from a different country. That's why I'm trying to make a better way. Whole new crib in a better place. Get my people out the hood. We'll see better days. Tell a fan sorry, I'll let them wait.